Hey guys, Jen, I'm sure, and this is another Minecraft Bedrock Edition video. And this is another 1.13 beta. I know one hasn't come out in a while, but this is 1.13.0.9, which secretly came out, and there wasn't a lot of talk about it until it had come out. So, um, there is a lot of stuff in this update on the changelog, and a very huge amount. So I won't be able to go over all of it, I will just go over the new features and changes. So let's get right to that. So, new features. They added the Wither Rose. They also added Suspicious Stew. Item frames can now be placed on the floor and ceiling. So I'd like to see that. Added the Brown Mushroom. And it's forged by lightning bolts. I'm not exactly too sure what that means. Um, is it if a normal mushroom gets struck by lightning? Uh, hopefully we can find out soon. Added abandoned villages. Added the light block for map makers. This supports auxiliary data from 0 to 15 for light level. The invisible end rod variant 6 is now auto upgraded to the new light block. Light blocks are supported by a slash give, slash fix, and slash set block. Added successful village raid celebration. Added game credits. Um, these can be viewed after defeating the ender dragon, or you can, there's a new button in the settings menu. So that's cool. Uh, new note block sounds. Added note block functionality for glowstone, hay bale, block of emerald, pumpkin, soul sand, block of iron, bone block, wool, and packed ice, clay, and the block of gold so that's pretty cool and now we have the changes there's only six of them um, a squid can now spawn in rivers so added dead coral plants updated and added new note block sounds so that goes with the new feature uh, players are now 1.8 blocks tall which is I think a big bug fix villagers can now heal if they have bread in their inventory Oh, that's pretty cool. I, that's a pretty cool feature. And also added a how to play section for structure blocks. So that will be very helpful, even though I have a video um, how to use structure blocks. But, you know, in game, it's good to have a menu that has a tutorial for that. So that's pretty cool. Um, the rest of it is uh, for map makers and add-on creators, and then also the bug fixes. And that's a very long list, so I won't be able to go over that. But that's it for 1.13.0.9. Remember, it is online on the Windows Store, Microsoft Store. I'm not sure if it's on Android yet. It'll probably be late, if so. But that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. See you guys later. Love you all. Thank you for 2,000 subscribers. Jed Nemch out.